The Air Peace flight that was scheduled to early the Nigerians did not take off early this morning as planned, and that's due to its inability to obtain a landing permit on time from South Africa. However, Nigeria's Consul General in Johannesburg, Godwin Adama, says the airline has now received the permit and is continuing with the evacuation process. So far, 187 Nigerians have been successfully evacuated and profiled according to their state, and 320 more will be arriving with the second batch. At the peak of xenophobic attacks on foreigners in South Africa, some Nigerians indicated willingness to return home, and the private airline Air Peace was glad to respond. So, at about 9.35 p.m. on the 11th of September, the first batch, 187 of them made up of adults and children, landed at the Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. Coming back, it's a new experience, so I'm happy. And I feel safe because normally, even, even to go to school, like, I'm scared to go to school. It's a car. I have the papers here. My car was one of the cars burned. With the whole situation, killing and looting shops and everything, I just decided, no, it's time to come back home. It is a shame that in the African continent, we still have a situation of blacks killing blacks. It's not something that any African should be proud of. I think it should be embarrassing to us all as Africans. This evacuation and perhaps boycott of the recent World Economic Forum by a few countries may have sent a strong signal to the government of South Africa. Opposition elements in South Africa not keeping quiet too. Xenophobia. The EFF government would have acted decisively because the attacks we've seen are not justifiable. It's, it's, it's an act of criminality. We must call them for what they are. It's crime. While plans for the return of more are being tidied up, the envoy sent by the South African president, Cyril Ramaphosa, was in Abuja to meet President Mohamed Buhari. Those incidents do not represent what we stand for as a constitutional democracy in South Africa, and the president has apologized for these incidents, and he has also instructed law enforcement agencies to leave no stone unturned that all those involved must be brought to book so that the rule of law must prevail in South Africa. Maybe too little, too late. Minds are made up and may not be prepared for a rethink. Today, another batch is leaving South Africa, the country that was once home but turned dangerously hostile. Joining us now for more on this is President of the Nigerian Citizens Association in South Africa, Benjamin Okoli. It's good to have you join us at this time. We can imagine the level of excitement that these Nigerians who have uh, showed interest to come back home must have felt. But this delay now occasioned by uh, the refusal, or do we call it delay in granting the landing permits, how are Nigerians, the Nigerian community there, how are they reacting to this? Um, uh, actually, uh they are not reacting very positively. They have been disheartened by the delay because uh, we are here uh, arranging people to board them to the airport uh, for onward movement to Lagos. But uh, we've not uh, as yet received uh, the aircraft from Lagos to come, uh, you know, to arrive here and uh, convey these people to Abuja, I mean to Lagos. Uh, but at the same time, they are actually elated that they are finally going back to their country. Uh, that is what we can say for now. They are very happy. Some of them are very happy. Most of them actually are very, very happy that they are going, finally going back to Lagos. All right, Benjamin, you know? but do we know why there was a delay in granting the landing permit? Well, uh, we cannot be very certain and sure about that, but one thing we know is that there is a delay. But we are hand handling the delay, you know, magnanimously, and uh, uh, the evacuees are actually uh, set and ready to be evacuated back to Lagos. That is all I can say at this moment. All right. Uh, we are presently at the consulate building trying to arrange them to get them on board, you know, pre in preparation to onward movement to the airport. All right then, and uh, tell us exactly what is happening right there at uh, the consulate. Nigerians, is excitement still high up there waiting to just get back to Nigeria? Yeah, they're actually upbeat. 
uh, like I said earlier, uh, the spirit is high amongst many of them. Uh, the spirit is very high, and they are very happy that they are finally going to go back to their country. Uh, yeah. All right, then Benjamin Okolia, the president of the Nigerian Citizens Association in South Africa. Many thanks for joining us at this time.